Hi, Orb here. Uh, I'm just going to teach you guys another lesson about the wonderful wire mod in Gary's Mod. So uh, basically in the last lesson we just learned about a button and a thruster, how you can connect them with wires. So uh, right now we're just going to learn about something called gates. So all these things under wire control, they have to do with taking multiple um, wires into one little kind of like a hub or a nexus and sending out one value from all of them. So let's just create ourselves in Phoenix mod. Let's just create ourselves a little uh, a plate, he plate here for ourselves. Get out of the way. All right. I'm just going to freeze this in place right there. All right. So uh, let's just make some really uh, simple things. I'm just going to first off make a little plate here that we'll be able to reach. I'll just put that right there. It doesn't really matter right now. If you hold E while you rotate, it'll, uh, it'll set it up right to the axis. There we go. Alright, so uh, let's just create a button on there really quickly. Uh, button, value on 1, value off 0. And let's put that there. And let's create another button that is a minus where the value on is negative 1. And let's put that right there. So uh, let's say we want the plus button to uh, push this block forwards and the minus button to push it backwards. Now we could do this just by having a simple wire to a thruster here and the minus button having a value of 1, not negative 1, uh, to a thruster here. But instead, the cooler way to do it, if you want to be uh, more complex with wire mod and learn more things about it, is to use a bidirectional thruster that we put in a negative value to. So let's just create some thrusters on here. And one right there. Okay, so... Uh, now what we're going to need to do is we want those thrusters to react to both of those. So uh, we it's not just like this thruster reacts on this one because if negative has to affect it also. So we're, what we're going to need to do is create some kind of hub or nexus to accept both of those incoming connections, uh, combine them, and set it up as one value that the thruster can understand. So we're going to do this with what's called the gate arithmetic. So arithmetic is basically just going to take multiple values, we've got two in this case, and it's going to apply some kind of math to it. So you've got, you know, you can do really advanced ones like logs and exponentials, uh, all kinds of weird stuff in here. But uh, we just want to use, like, the most basic one, addition. So basically, let me just explain why we're doing this. We've got a positive one and a negative one here. And uh, either one will make this go forwards or backwards. But we need both of them, so when it's not being used, it's at zero. So if we were to add the two together, let me just place this right there. If we were to add the two together, if I was I had turned on this one, it would be uh, it would be one plus whoops sorry let me undo that one plus zero would still be one, so it would tell it to go forwards. Now if we were to add this one on negative one plus zero, it would be uh, negative one still, and it would go backwards. Now one thing I want to change actually I want to remove those. Uh, those buttons, I forgot I made them toggle buttons, I don't want to do that. So let's just go into our button and turn off toggle. Create our minus button, go to plus, make sure you change it to a positive value, and place it there. Alright, so let me show you how to wire this up basically, since we already have our setup. Basically, uh, if you remember last lesson I told you, you can have multiple values in a single object. Well, a gate is a great example of this. So this has A, if I right-click, B, C, D, E, all up to H. So uh, this basically has to do with the different values that you're adding together. So you can have, you know, up to uh, H, what is that, like eight? Yeah, eight uh, values add, adding with one gate. If you needed more, you could always add, take two gates and add them together So um, with another gate. So you'd have three adds. So I'm just going to take the A, I'm just going to leave it on A, left click, and it doesn't matter which A or B you add to each one since it's addition and it's uh, reflective. So let's go connect it to the minus, and let's right click, go to B, and connect B to the plus. So let me explain what's happening with the gate now. It says add 0 plus 0 equals 0. Well both uh, objects are currently on 0, and uh, it's taking value A, which is currently at 0 but could be negative 1, adding it to value B, which is currently at 0 but could be 1, and then giving you your final value which is 0. 
So if I were to press E on this button and hold it down, you don't have to keep looking at it as long as you hold down E. And look over here, you'll see 0 plus 1 equals 1. I'm going to let go, it goes back to 0. If you click on this one, you'll get negative 1 plus 0 equals negative 1. So basically we've just got this final output that's coming out of there that we can just easily connect up to these, um, these thrusters. So I'm just going to click on A, connect it up to the gate, click on A here, connect it up to the gate. Now uh, I'm just going to do one more thing. I'm going to put some basic hover balls on here. just so that it'll float while we do this test really quickly. Okay, so uh, now we should be able to unfreeze this, unfreeze that, which we forgot to weld. Oops. Let me uh, just kind of rotate that up so you can... Hold on a second. Use the weld tool up here. Un Oops, unfreeze it. Okay, now when I press plus, you'll see we're moving forwards. And when I press minus, you'll see we're moving backwards. So, that's lesson two. I hope you guys can enjoy this, and we'll learn some more in lesson three.